It's in dinette mode right now. And it's a super comfy place to have a meal. How's it going guys? Isaiah with Campo Vans. Uh, okay, we're gonna review that. How's it going? Cool. Today we're gonna take a look at this bam. Take a minute today to check out this 174 by four Sprinter. This one's super unique because it can fit a family of five super comfortably. It's a really open floor plan. They wanna use the van for day-to-day -day stuff. They're not expecting to live out of the thing. So that really eliminated a lot of the more extensive options that we put in a lot of vans, like showers and full bathrooms and stuff like that. We've got the first of two little dinette areas. And what we've done in this build is actually kept the factory three-seater from Mercedes. We've gone ahead and installed modified version of our normal dinette. So we've actually brought this table a little further out just because of how the van layout is. We decided to put the microwave in the middle here you can see this creates a really nice area here that's really good for prep. So it's cool how this van's ended up being kind of a, a dinette passenger area, moving into the kitchen area, and then we'll go to the back, which is more of a full dining area and also the bedroom. Got tons of storage up here. The left unit here houses all our systems as normal. And we really like having all the storage. It still creates a ton of open space down here. You can get over this way if you're a kid. You could change down here if you're a little shorter. We can put suitcases back there, so. There's still a ton of room in this van, which all of us at the shop have really come to like. Here we've got one of our classic folding leaves there. It extends the kind of top that way, but we've actually gone ahead and installed it on this side. So now we've got tons of room here. And then if we turn around here, we've got even more. However, we can make it even bigger with this pull-out table here. This has ended up being some of the most counter space we ever have in a van, which is awesome considering the size of these pods here. On this side, we've got a nice little drawer up top isotherm fridge, it's been good to us. And then we've actually got a little door here, which is perfect for a little camp stove. Because of the way that the water tanks had to be installed, we ended up installing the fill port on the front of the galley here. So it's accessible through the slider door. And while we were at it, we figured it'd be a great spot for an outdoor shower. So normally our builds have an outdoor shower at the back. Well, now we've got two. We've got one at the front and one at the back. We've got the classic deep sink here. They come with a ton of little goodies. Not sure what this is, good for veggies maybe. So as you can see, I'm up on the mullet bed. This is where the kids will be. I've got plenty of room. I can roll onto my side, no problem. Nice and cozy. Moving down below, you can see it's in dinette mode right now. And it's a super comfy place to have a meal. You can see you've got tons of room. It's a big long table. You could probably fit eight people back here if you really wanted to. We're really pleased about how this turned out. I've got plenty of headroom, even with a little cushion. So you can have the bed up top set up at all times because even though these Moab beds are really easy to take out, you have to put them somewhere. So in a setup like this, we're able to leave it, make dinner, hang out down here. Then everyone could climb up. You can pack gear up there if you're not sleeping at the moment. So really like how this ended up working. You'll also notice we've got some cool bunk windows here from Sierra Lawrence. We mounted those a little lower than normal in order to be able to mount this bed up high. And I'm really glad we did this because it opens up the space. In order to drop this into a bed, it's super simple. Just remove this tabletop from the legs, stow the legs, drop it down, and we've got another panel stowed there. On this side, we've got our water tank housing 24 gallons of water. We've also got our Rickson system under here, houses our water heater and air heater. Over here, we've got that outdoor shower I mentioned earlier. And a little 110 port that's hooked up to our 3000 watt Victron inverter. A big old gear drawer with heavy duty drawer slots. And then housed up there is all of our electrical systems. Full Victron setup with 200 amp hours of lithium. Of course, we got the Fiamma awning at 45S. Because it's the 170, we've been able to put the longer version on here. That's mounted to an aluminous roof rack. We've actually got roof nest, rooftop tent up on top of there. And on top of the rooftop tent, we've actually had 200 watt glue on solar panels for a really seamless look. It also allows you to have a little bit of a back roof deck area. And again, because of the length of the van, there's a ton of room up there, even with that rooftop tent. They've opted to go with just the tire carry on this van. A lot of times you'll also see a ladder up the side. We'll get to that in a second. We've also gone ahead and tossed on one of these gear boxes back here. Super solid, great gasket, love it. Above that, we've got a couple one-up racks for your bikes. We've got the side ladder. And we've also gone ahead and added the board racks to the side, especially with the big lifted van like this. It's quite a journey to get your boards onto the roof. Thanks for walking through the van with me today. If you got any questions, leave a comment below. We'll do our best to get back to you. Otherwise, take a look at our website. We've got tons of new products coming up there daily. And we'll see you next time.